Air travel around the world was interrupted last week when a, uh, a faulty software update went out to Microsoft machines, uh, more than eight million of them around the world. And uh, it took a couple of days for most airlines to recover, but Delta Airlines in particular has struggled to get back on track and they are still, even today, five days out, canceling about 500 flights and they've canceled more than 6,000 flights since this started. And the transportation department has announced it's going to investigate what's going on at Delta and they wanna make sure that Delta is treating passengers correctly, doing things like offering them refunds uh, and not just travel credits and uh, having a call center that's reachable. About half of their systems run on Windows and they struggled in particular to get two of them back online. One of them dealt with their traffic at Atlanta, the airport there, that's their biggest hub. And the other one, and this is the more troubling one, dealt with their crew scheduling, getting pilots and flight attendants matched with airline flights. But they are supposed to refund the passenger in the way that they paid for their ticket. That might've been cash, it might've been a credit card, however they paid they're supposed to get refunded in that way. And Delta has been, we, we saw one, Delta's been sending out these emails or text messages offering kind of credit uh, for flights in the future on Delta. And that may not quite comport with the law. 